this video, we'll do an example where we'll calculate the molar solubility of an AB3 type compound given its KSP. We're asked to find the molar solubility of silver phosphate, AG3PO4, at 25 degrees Celsius. We're given that the KSP value for AG3PO4 at 25 degrees is 8.9 times 10 to the negative 17th. The first step is to write the balanced equation for the solubility equilibrium of AG3PO4. AG3PO4 forms three Ag plus ions and one phosphate, or PO4 three minus ion. Note that because this compound dissociates into three Ag plus ions and one PO4 three minus ion, it is identified as an AB3 type compound. Here, we'll write the KSP expression for this reaction. KSP equals the concentration of Ag plus cubed times the concentration of PO4 three minus. We'll represent the molar solubility of Ag3PO4 by the letter S. We see from the equilibrium equation that the mole ratio of Ag plus to the compound Ag3PO4 is three to one, so the concentration of Ag plus will be equal to three S. The equation also shows that the mole ratio of PO4 three minus to Ag3PO4 is one to one, so the concentration of PO4 three minus is just equal to S. Now we need to find the value of the molar solubility S. We start by writing down the KSP expression here. We have determined that the concentration of Ag plus is equal to 3s, so we can substitute 3s in for the concentration of Ag plus in the KSP expression, like this. The equation also tells us that the concentration of phosphate, PO4 three minus, is equal to s, so we can substitute s in for the concentration of PO4 three minus in the KSP expression, like this. We start with the expression KSP is equal to 3s all cubed times s. Math tells us that AB all cubed is equal to A cubed times B cubed. So 3s all cubed is equal to 3 cubed times s cubed. 3 cubed is equal to 27, so we put 27 in here for 3 cubed. s cubed times s is equal to s to the fourth, so KSP equals 27s to the fourth. Now we divide both sides by 27 in order to isolate s to the fourth. So s to the fourth is equal to KSP over 27. In order to solve for s, we take the fourth root of both sides of the equation. Taking the fourth root of both sides, we get s is equal to the fourth root of the fraction KSP over 27. Now we can substitute the given value of KSP, 8.9 times 10 to the negative 17th, in for the KSP in the equation, like this. On some calculators, you can solve this expression all in one step. Here, we'll do it step by step. We'll start by dividing 8.9 times 10 to the negative 17th by 27, and this gives us 3.296 times 10 to the negative 18th. We have more significant figures than we need here, but we'll round off to the correct number of significant figures at the end. So we can say that s is equal to the fourth root of 3.296 times 10 to the negative 18th. So to get the value for s, we take the fourth root of 3.296 times 10 to the negative 18th. And we get 4.26 times 10 to the negative fifth. Because s represents molar concentration, we add the unit m for molarity. However, we see that the original KSP was given to us in two significant figures. So that means we must round the answer to two significant figures. So the final answer is 4.3 times 10 to the negative fifth molar. So we'll restate the final answer to the question here. The molar solubility of silver phosphate, Ag3PO4, is equal to 4.3 times 10 to the negative fifth molar.